Hello guys, texture painting with Blender is a bit tedious to set up, so I want to show you an add-on to use a layering technique for painting, like a node for instance, from Substance Painter. It is called Layer Painter and I will show you a simple demo using the default cube. The link to the add-on can be found in the description below. When the add-on is installed, you find this tab in the Materials panel, Layer Painter, and before we start painting, I scale down the cube a bit in Edit Mode and add a bevel. Just that we have something that looks a bit more interesting. Like that and I set the shading to smooth. And the viewport shading I set to the look dev mode. Ok, now let's see, the first thing we have to do is to create a new material. I want this material to be a kind of paint, a bit reflective, not too rough. But before we have to define a preset and I will use the Blender PBR preset. That is based on the principal shader and in that we have PBR channels like albedo, roughness, metallic and so on. Once we have this we can define layers. There are three kinds of layers, normal layers, filters and folders. In this tutorial I focus on normal layers and the normal layers also have channels and filters. You will see this in an example. The first one I call paint layer because I want it to be a kind of steel paint. And before we start defining the color, let's have a look at the channels. We have the channels albedo, metallic, roughness, bump, normal, that you know perhaps from the principal shader. For this layer I use albedo, roughness and bump. Ok, now set the color to a red tone. This is the albedo channel, the base color. And I decrease the roughness to make it a bit more reflective. So this is nothing special, but what I want to do now is I want to have a steel material below this steel paint. So I have to add a second layer and you find it perhaps a bit confusing that I add it to the top above the red paint because I said that I want it to be below the paint, but you see why in a moment. I call this new layer metal layer and for the channels I use albedo, roughness, metallic and bump. Alright, now let's configure this. The color I set to white. Then I crank up the metallic all the way up to 1. Then I decrease the roughness and it looks like metal. A shiny metal. This layer, the metal layer, is the active one. You see this checkbox or radio button is selected. And now I'll click this button here. So that we can add a mask. I want to mask this layer to make it appear below the other one. Let's see which masks we have. You see we have quite a few and I want the material to look damaged. So select a damaged mask. You see we have a small change, but the masks need certain maps to work properly. So we have to bake these maps before. Perhaps you know this from Substance Painter, there we have the mesh maps. And this is the same principle, here we have the pointiness, the ambient occlusion and the bevel. Now go ahead and bake each of these maps. And already after baking the pointiness, you see that the behavior of the masks has changed. I bake the others now as well, I speed this up a bit. And then we continue to configure the mask. Ok, now everything is baked and now I go to the damage mask and we have some parameters that we can change now. The amount of damage, the scale, the contrast and the occlusion. Play around with these parameters to find the result that you like. Ok, I stick to this now, but the masks can be layered as well, it's a stack. So we can add another mask, for instance here this texture mask. And now we have a dark mask above a texture. That is masking everything because the blending mode is set to multiply. Perhaps you know blending modes from painting applications like Photoshop. I set it now from multiply to add and press the paint button so that I can paint onto this mask in black and white tones.
Okay, after that I could paint white onto the mask and in this blending mode I'm kind of painting away the mask. So what you do in this add-on basically is you are layering paint layers and masks. And this gives you a great flexibility for painting your textures. Now I'm painting a little bit around, but this is just one example. Of course you can go ahead now and change the channels of the layers, for instance the color or the roughness. So set the color of the paint layer to a blue tone, increase the roughness a bit, just to give it a different look and feel. Or we go to the other layer and adjust the contrast a bit of the texture mask. Play around with the features to get used to it. So I would say this is not a new Substance Painter, but it's a great add-on for layer painting with Blender and I can really recommend it. You find it on this Gumroad page, let's give it a good rating and the link is added to the description below. It's not free. It's paid, but I think the price is affordable. So guys, that's it. I hope you liked the tutorial. If you do, then let me know. And also if you would like to see reviews for add-ons from time to time. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Also consider joining the channel membership. Nice perks are waiting. And I'll see you in the next one here on JNM.